Hello YouTube, this is Black on Black and welcome to my channel. Um, you're looking at my hair because I have it up some type of way. What I've done is I've, um, I did me a quick weave and I did it on my, well, my usual way, um, with my cap, my GPS solution. Well, I had to get the Salon Pro because I don't have the diamond bond. And I went to the hair show in, um, Birmingham looking for the diamond bond. I don't know why I was looking for it there, but... Anyway, this is what I use it with, uh, this right here. And I also, this time I, uh, molded my hair down. Well, yeah, I molded my hair down with the, um, but I molded my hair down with my, uh, olive oil, um, gel. So I'm going to, it's, you know, for, uh, non-flaking. I don't have it in here with me, but you guys know what the olive oil gel is. And um, I dried that, and then I went back and put my cap on, and then I put in my GPS solution on. The reason I went ahead and uh, molded with the um, gel is because I will have the, I will use less of this. So I'm trying to let this uh, last. You know, actually, this is the third install out of this bottle right here. I used my aunts and me twice, and I still have probably another another setting. In this, in this bottle and I also bought the clear I'm not really liking the clear so much because I used the clear up here at first around my edges when I did it and um, it was turning white so I had to go in and kind of clean that up and this is my uh, I did the invisible part so this is I don't know if you can see uh, you can see it that's my invisible part none of my hair is left out and uh, I, I know I said I don't really like the invisible part but I just went ahead and tried it again. Well, this is my probably my second time doing it uh, as a glue-in quick weave. So, um, I, it's okay. You know, I need to pra keep practicing on it. It's thin like I want it, but it's not as neat as I want it. And around my edges, around my perimeter, that's not as neat as I want it either. So, which is why I'm going to uh, try something a little different with my edges. I'm going to use the lace wig adhesive. And just add a little bit around the edges and kind of just lay that uh, hair down just a little bit. Not too much. And I'm going to also do it around here too because I don't like that straight edge look. So that's what I'm going to uh, try to fix. I mean, none of my hair is going to be showing, but you know, God forbid the wind blows. You know, y'all don't want to go. But um, anyway... So now, I use this comb. I'll look for my rat tail, but I use the tips of this right here. That, that'll be fine. But, um, it's getting cold, so now I can really, really wear my, uh, quick weave. Because in the summertime, it, it just, it's not for me because my head itches and, and everything else. Actually, I've done this, um, last night. So, it hasn't started itching yet, but... Who knows? But I don't think it will because I know usually when I uh, do my quick weaves in the wintertime, I have no problem with the ir uh, irritation and the itching. And I don't use spritz, so that's another thing. I'm using some estrogen to clean around my edges so that uh, the adhesive can get tacky and, and stick. See, it's taking my makeup off, but that's okay. So... I just want that adhesive to really stick with no oil or anything. I haven't done this in a long time. I used to wear my lace wigs and so I hadn't deal with this in a very long time. So, and I'm, I still have my scalp protect. I hope that hadn't <laughs> dried out. No. So here's my scalp protect. I'm rubbing that on there. Or I would be applying the uh, adhesive especially around here I'm also going to lay it hmm. so I'm going to come on around here and I chose to do my uh, quick weave like this because those edges y'all I'm just so sick of fighting with them and so tempting to relax them and I just don't want to fool with a relaxer anymore period okay here is my 30 second pro adhesive. And here 
wipe some of that off. Okay, now I'm going to lay it. Brush it. Uh, I'm not going to put that much on. Uh, let's go around my head. There you go. That's the part I hated about this in it. I'm right there. Back here. Right there. None of my hair is out, so it's completely on my skin. So it's not on anywhere in my hair. On my hair. I mean, the weave. I mean, I care, but not as much as I would if it would get on my hair. But so. now to the other side. Not so much as in the front, right here. Really just focusing on my side. I just try to do one sweep that way. I don't have stuff going everywhere. Look at that. Now ask me how did I get that on my hair. Probably fail, so okay, no more is down there in the way. So I'm gonna let that dry and get tacky. Yeah, I do not miss this stuff, I tell you I don't. I really don't really really don't. I wish I had my um blow dry in here. I'm gonna have one of them. And I'm going to dry it. I'm going to put it on full high and let that get tacky, tacky, Usually I will have my um, red tail comb doing this, but I'm going to take these down. I'm just going to use the tip of my comb to push it off in there anyway. Kind of like that right there. It's like if you, it's as if you were actually applying a lace wig. So you would do that same process. Seek that comb off in there and just now I can do that because it's already in there. I'm gonna do this edge right here. Same. That looks better. And when I get done, I'm gonna blow dry it again. You know. Take this down and stick my comb and do the same thing here. Just do that. Because it's already down, so. That was a pen. Another pen in here. I'm going to blow dry it. See, the way I'm going now, I'm straight. Pretty straight.
satisfied with that. Okay, now that has dried. Doesn't that look better? It looks a whole lot better. A whole lot better, a whole lot better. I'm not going to fool with them and let it dry. Like I normally would have done my lace wigs. So, okay. Now this hair is, of course you guys know, my Onyx Remy hair. And the color that it came in was a 1B33. So, and of course, I colored it. I, I mean, I just like to uh, add a little personality to my weaves when I purchase them in the store. And this is, uh, I split the, this these two, you know. This is the color that I colored it. And I also put some on the dark pieces of it, and it gave that little tint to it. I hadn't used these, but these is the tracks that I slit when I did my, uh, my uh, invisible uh, part. So, I, see, that's the red. And it is a, a custom color, so uh, as far as what colors did I use, honey, I, I just mixed. I know I wanted something red, uh, so I try to get anything that has red in it. Uh, not like red, red, but uh, on the color, the color family. Like, um, thing I use, um, Azuri. Uh, I use like four or five color lines in this color, and this is the color that I liked. So now I may throw some curls in it, in it. I know somebody asked me, Why don't you ever wear it straight? I like to curl my hair. Oh, before I forget, the young lady, I've um, been searching YouTube, just searching, searching, searching. Someone that could actually do the uh, invisible parting uh, method good. So, this young lady that I chose to mimic was, I am, I am, I guess, I guess she go, I am because of you. That's her YouTube channel. Uh, it's I am the letter B and C U Z of you. So that's who uh, channel that I got this uh, invisible method. And this is my closure. You can't even really tell it's a closure, but my well you can right here. My closure is right here, and her parting is going further back than mine. And I just stopped my like mid right there so that's how far my parting is because i was being lazy and i didn't feel like laying all those tracks so there you go and i have a uh 16 14 and a 12 in and i have all three packs in all but what i showed you guys i don't feel like standing up so this is how long it is. And I cut it with my razor. I razor cut it. And not too many layers. Pretty much like right up in here is where I razored it at. I didn't really do too much of it in the back. Because it's really already layered because of the way I bought it. So, there you go. Uh, will I curl this? I'm going to add a few turns in it. I'm going to go ahead and add a few turns in it. And this is my cheek uh, DB irons. And I um, bought these at TJ Maxx about a couple of years ago. This is like moving. But anyway. I bought them a couple of years ago, so, um, yeah, um, I'm just going to add a few turns in it, because I want it to, like, the swoop bang. 
Oh, I'm so lazy. I don't feel like going to get my styling comb. I'm gonna be using this detangling comb, but it'll work. And I don't want to put too much heat on this hair either. So I just want to swoop that in. I'm trying to look at my mirror at the same time and, and, and forget about that blame monitor's right in front of me, but I just hate looking in that monitor. Yeah, just bear with me. I should have my curling wands, but I don't need to be pulling on my sides right now. monitor when I'm doing my hair. I really do. That's why y'all see me leaning over trying to look in my mirror. I want to be so much easier and so much faster. I gotta keep looking at that, that blame camera because they act a fool and cut off. I'm going to be pissed. And I lay my tracks very close together. You know how you, you, you do your um your 27 piece quick weave? How you do your back, that's how I pretty much lay my weaves when I do my um, quick weaves. My long quick weaves. I do it the same exact way, but I do it all over instead of just in the back, letting them touching. My tracks are basically kind of touching. That's why I use so much, that's why I can get so much in there. Because I like, just like my hair to be full. You know. I like for it to be full, nothing skimpy. So y'all, that's pretty much all I want to really do to this hair. Hair go laying over here. Yeah. Now I think I'm gonna let, I'm gonna curl this one coming towards my face versus going away. And I'm gonna have to redo that one because that's gonna be like a hot mess. I mean, I don't want anything uniform. I said, uh, fall. Oh, and it wants to. Yeah, I'm sorry for keep leaning over, but I'm just trying to see what I'm doing. My camera is here. My monitor is here. In case y'all wonder what the hell is she looking at. I'm in my bathroom. So I had to improvise. And the trick about when you're sliding your irons. The hair can't be dry because 
that causes friction. That's why a lot of you guys can't get your iron to slide through your hair because you're trying to slide it through dry hair. So don't try to um, slide these irons on dry hair because what you're going to do is end up burning it and ruining the hair. Because you're going to keep going back over and over and over and trying to get it to slide. And it won't slide if you if it's dry. And like I said, this is not dry because I um, added that color to it. So that's why this is not dry. Y'all don't call me crazy, but hey, I can't. Let me, let me curl that going back because it's not acting right. I didn't layer it enough. That's what I didn't do. You can curl it down you just before it cools that um curl cool just kind of turn it the way you want it to lay and that's where it will cool and lay and so let's give it a little tighter curl right here and there you lay the way I wanted it to lay that time. So, but I'm going to have to cut that again. Okay. There it is. That's, that's all I'm going to do to it. Actually, it really is. That's all I'm going to do to it. Wait a minute. I got one more long piece right here. And I'm just going to just really just bump it. Nothing major. I just play, pay more attention to my fronts than I do my back. Which I don't have a straight front and no curls in the back, you know. Not saying that. Okay, that's the finished look. And my makeup, I'm learning to contour, but not so hard with the dark and the light. So I'm still trying to kind of, y'all know I'm not that good with makeup, so I'm trying to learn how to contour and all that too. So hopefully I'll get that down packed soon, one day or whatever. Right now I just love to play in it. You know, try to try to play with it and try to do something with it. Ugh. But anyway... More pics at the end.